day going? I hope it's going fantabulous so far. What is this video about today? It is about the fact that I want to try a product that I have never tried before. Let me start by saying I do not have super large lips. I mean, I'm not complaining. I am thankful for my lips, for the fact that I have lips, and I'm never going to beat myself up about the size of my lips. Do I, every once in a while, wish they were a little bit poutier, a little bit poofier, and a little bit fuller? Of course. I think most of us who don't have naturally plump lips do feel that way. And I will never, ever, ever, ever get lip injections. Not that I have a problem with them. That's all personal preference. But I would never do it. First, I'm a wimp. I am hate pain. I hate pain. I don't like shots. And secondly, it's expensive. It's real expensive. So instead, I was at Sephora a little while back and got the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. Not just the regular, extreme, because I want to see some results. I did get the travel size that way. I'm not breaking the bank, and if it doesn't work, eh, no big deal. At least I have a cute clear gloss to use. This is the travel size at $14. Full size is $28. And it has fairly decent, decent reviews online, not stellar, about a 3.5 out of 557 reviews on Sephora's website, so not terrible. I do have a little bit of lip balm on right now, so I'm just going to wipe that off. Okay, let's see if there's any instructions. The claims from Sephora's website, Too Faced uses a potent quadra delivery system that contains vitamin, vitamin E, collagen friendly maxi lip, and dehydrated marine sponge to support blood flow and promote a look of fullness and rehydrate the body's own moisture for a long lasting effect. Moisturizing doses of avocado and jojoba oil condition to ensure a smooth pout. How to use. Apply a generous amount of lip injection to clean dry lips. Check. Got that. Perfect. Wait one minute before applying lip color or other lip treatments. The serum is to be used in the morning and evening along with your normal skincare routine. Huh, interesting. I never thought of this as a part of my skincare routine. I just thought of it as some fun before I apply some lipstick. So let's give it a try. It smells super good. It smells like lip smackers, actually. You guys remember the days where lip smackers was everything? That's what it reminds me of. So it says apply a generous amount. It's got kind of a iridescent shine to it. I don't know if you can see that. That's pretty cool. So I'm going generous. I love the smell. I don't know if I want to get any in my mouth though. Like, will that make my tongue poofy? I don't know. So far it's just a nice clean, a nice clean, a nice clear gloss. I'm going to try to really get on the outer edge here because I feel like that's where I really want my fullness is the upper portion of my top lip. Now here on the outer edges. Really trying to poof up that portion of my lip. And then down here and here. I'm starting to feel a little tingling. Let's set a timer. I'm feeling, I'm starting to feel the tingle. <laughs> Timer. Stopwatch. Start. Mm. I think a little got in my mouth. It does tingle on the tongue a little bit. It's starting to get that burn. There's a little bit of burn going on right now. Letting it sit, letting it sit, letting it sit. I did, I am curious to try making my own at home lip plumper. If you guys have ever tried that with cinnamon oil, let me know your thoughts. Does it work? Because if so, that could be a fun little DIY project to make. I know there's recipes on Pinterest. Lips are tingling just a little bit. I'm feeling more of the tingle at the very top edge of my upper lip because that is the more sensitive area. My lips are getting a little bit pinker. It's starting to burn. Mm -hmm. Whew. Starting to feel a burn at 45 seconds in. Oh my god. It really burns a lot actually. Mm. You know that feeling of like you're eating a real hot pepper and you look at your lips and it's really starting to burn? I'm feeling that and I feel like the burn's wafting up to my eyeballs. They kind of want to, they kind of want to water up a little. Ooh, 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 don't blow air on it, it makes it worse. Oh, God. Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> I told you guys I'm a whip. This is why I'll never get lip injections. <sighs> Does the burn go away? I don't know. I'm wiping off the intersection of my lips because I don't want to get in my mouth. I want to fan them, but the fanning makes it worse. Okay, I'm at a minute 30 right now. It still hurts. How long does the hurt go on for? Ooh, oh my God, it's burning. The burn has not wore off yet. Oh my God. Freaking hurts. It's not really a pleasant experience. Cause it kind of hurts. I do feel like my lips feel plumper. They feel kind of weird, like when your mouth is numb from a, from a, uh, when your mouth is numb from a dental treatment, you feel like they're not moving naturally. Oh my gosh, my lips feel weird. <laughs> they're definitely plumper though. For sure. Let me zoom in. They're definitely plumper. And down here. And the burn is wearing off, either wearing off a little bit or my mouth is just getting numb to it. But my lips don't feel like they're moving naturally. Like, they don't feel like how they usually move. That's weird to me. Kind of makes your nose want to run and your eyes water. <laughs> like, yeah, it's something spicy. But my lips, seriously, do look plumper. Now, is it like actual lip injections? I guess if you did very natural, um, a low dose of lip injections or a... I don't know if dose is the right word, but if you didn't go crazy on the lip injections, I would say this is quite similar, actually. I feel a tightness in my lips, like, when I do that, you can really see the plumpness by that white line around my lip. I'm trying to take off a little bit of the extra. Because I don't know how, like, lip liner and everything will wear on top. I think I'm going to take a little dot of foundation on the back of my hand and put it onto the edge of my lip. To maybe give a little bit better binding from like a lip liner. The lip liner doesn't want to go on top of the gloss too much because it's so slick kind of melting the lip liner. But my lips are definitely plumper. Wow. I will say lip pencil does not go over top very well. But I wonder if I blot off the gloss if it's going to lose the plumping effect. This is a very light nude. Very light. Lip products are not layering on top super, super well because of that slick glossiness. The um, lip product is coming off. And this lipstick is a little lighter than I remembered. The plumpness is already dying down just a little bit already because the tightness is kind of leaving. And that was not very long ago at all. So I wonder if it would be better to apply the lip products and then do the lip plumper over top because I'm already losing so much of the plumpness and my lip products just are not sitting on as nicely. I feel like they're melting all over my face. Really not loving how lip products are laying on top. So I did overline just a little bit taking advantage of that plumper outer edge that the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme did give me. My overall thoughts on this are it does work. It does burn. It doesn't allow lip products to lay over top nicely. I feel like my lip products currently are sliding all over my face. It's just very hard to control on top of the gloss. I think for my next time using it, I'm going to go in and do my lip products first and then try putting the gloss over top because that way I'm gonna get that added plumpness that a gloss gives and hopefully I will have a better application because lip liner did not stick to this lip gloss at all. So. Would I get this product again? Hmm, I don't know. I think I'm going to try a DIY lip plumper. If you're looking for an instant little poof to your pout, it's fun. Get the little travel size. I'm already totally losing the plumpness and it's been 15 minutes, so if you're looking for those long-lasting results, it's not going to be this. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If you've used this product, please leave your comments below on what your thoughts are. I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. Really, really, I would. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter because I love chatting with you guys. And as always, please try to stay positive because at the end of the day, that is truly all we can try to do. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.